tensions over how to handle the homeless crisis continue to grow. Now there's demand for the mayoral candidates running to replace Garcetti to walk some of the encampments in Venice with residents and business owners. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Waite is live there tonight. And Tom, people are looking obviously for those solutions. Yeah, absolutely, Juan. They want to know what the candidates are going to do to solve this crisis. Mayoral race polls right now show this race is pretty much wide open. And as we've been reporting, one of the major, major issues here is the homeless crisis. An all too familiar scene in Venice, a small tent city. This one set up in Centennial Park along Venice Boulevard and just a stone's throw from Abbott Kinney. It's really sad to see people that, you know, are just down on their luck. I mean, a lot of it's mental illness. A lot of it sometimes is like addiction. A video of the encampment was posted to the account Gutter People of Los Angeles with the demand that mayoral hopefuls be required to walk through it and other encampments with residents and business owners. We sent a screenshot of the post to the top mayoral campaigns. Candidate Joe Buscaino replied to the post saying he would do it. He said, say when. The others released statements reiterating their immediate plans, including declaring a state of emergency to address the crisis. I love Venice. I'm still going to continue to live here. Kazmir Kwiatkowski says the homeless crisis is getting worse. I've noticed a big difference in only the short six years that I've been in the, around the neighborhood. Um, and you just have to be mindful at all times. But I mean, that's you got to be that way in a big city anyway. Venice became the epicenter of the homeless crisis during the pandemic as the unhoused population exploded and a sprawling tent city grew along the boardwalk. It was eventually dismantled and those living there were offered services, but clearly the homeless issue persists. And while there is frustration, there is also a great deal of sympathy for those living on the street. I have empathy for them and also it's like, what are we doing? to fix the solution, right? And I feel like we keep putting the spotlight on them, but I don't feel like we're we're actually collectively doing something to have conversations about it. I bring a lot of stuff to homeless encampments, yeah. like food and any clothes or shoes. The crisis is dominating the mayoral race, but as the population of unhoused grows, exasperation among the public is becoming pervasive. I hope that they just address it. I mean, we talk about it, we talk about it, we talk about it. It doesn't seem like anything's happening. I mean, at what point is the city not going to be friendly for tourists? My family doesn't really want to come and visit anymore. Um, so I think just action. A major issue here in Venice and really across Los Angeles is that once a homeless encampment is uh, been taken down, a lot of people just sort of move to other parts and other parts of the neighborhoods and then reestablish those tent uh, city communities. And the people here in this neighborhood of Venice want to make sure that doesn't keep happening. Reporting live in Venice, I'm Tom Waite, KKL 9 News. Tom, thank you.